All right, welcome and good morning to another edition of the Friday Morning Commute. This is your host, Robin Doug, coming to you from his new office slash place of unemployment. Home! Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I am having a wonderful new year so far. I love my daughters. So they need to be go playing right now while daddy finishes something. Yes. Don't play. Now, let's go ahead and get started with what Zer has for us this week. As always, he's back to selling the Legacy Engram. So, I'm, I'm curious to see if he's alternating selling Legacy Engrams or selling and selling normal Engrams or if there were just hiccups during the holidays of the regular Engrams being put into place. Let me grab the camera. Uh, but this week it is a Legacy Heavy Weapon Engram. Remember, you do not get a Year 2 or Year 3 exotic from a Legacy Engram. However, if you get a Year 1 exotic and that unlocks a Year 2 or Year 3 exotic as well, then you are able to pick it up from the uh, kiosk to get it. My daughter just brought me something that she doesn't need to be having in your, her hand. Can you put that away? Thank you. Now... For Titans, we also have the Helm of Inmost Light. For Hunters, we have the Young Ahamkara Spine. For the Warlocks, we have the Light Beyond Nemesis Quick Revive Helmet. And then for everyone, we have the Monte Carlo Auto Rifle. Uh, as always, they're selling his exotic shards. He does have three coins back this week, so that may have been uh, a at least on Bunny's website. He's got the three coins, so that may have been just a fluke on their side where Zer didn't have them and so they just gave everyone three coins to compensate for them being missing. Uh, I still think that yeah yeah I'd rather have three coins work for like legendaries versus exotics I think exotics the, the path that the exotics are moving towards where they're more quest based uh, with fewer being RNG based is actually preferred, but I would like to see less opportunities to uh, proc their appearance, if that makes sense. It makes sense in my mind. I'm not sure it makes sense in yours, but that, that's okay. Now, on the Bungie website, we don't ha don't. We do not have a This Week at Bungie. We do have a Happy New Year, though, from uh, Cosmo. Uh, the dawning has come to a close as of Tuesday the 3rd. There is no more uh, public SR SRL racing. However, it is confirmed we have the ability to complete the dawning uh, record book, the competitive spirit, through private matches. So... Um, I have a feeling that if you were to race yourself, you'd be on point to win every time, and that'd be a whole lot better. Now, strike scoring is still in place. You can still complete that. Um, the weekly elite bounties are still there as well. The daily Vanguard elite bounties are they're still there from the bounty trackers. Again, we still have Sparrow Racing and private matches. Uh, we do have the weekly treasures of dawning for completing heroic strike. I believe that's just one a week uh, I've only gotten one playing several strikes this week and then we do have the silver dust door and eververse items from the event so With all that being said we still have quite a stuff quite a bit to do especially if you weren't able to play over the holiday season Experience SRL in all its fullness now if you're still holding on to your SLR record book from 2015, it's not tracked in private matches, so you're probably going to have to wait until 2017, maybe, if Destiny 2 doesn't come around before then to complete it. We shall see. Now, uh, 
the next this week at Bungie that we're expecting is actually in a week, so on the twelfth of this month. I'm really excited to see what all they're gonna bring out and tell us about. Hopefully, we've got some. They've got some good stuff roadmap for us over the next. Oh, I'm sorry, baby girl. Ouch. Hopefully, they'll have some good stuff roadmap to keep us interested as a community base and. Uh, ready for us to jump back in. I have a feeling that there's just a lot of people who are. Yes, it is. Go put it in the dirty laundry. Who are uh, really burnt out. And so they're having to find a way to keep their community alive, but also not drain themselves too much from all of the destiny that they've played over the last two and a half years so with that being said uh, I know I'm once I complete a few more bucket list items in destiny I'm looking more to switch to a little bit more variety gaming for myself destiny will still probably be the primary focus because I still have a lot of stuff to do in destiny compared to the people who played since year one uh, or since alpha and beta and the beginning of year one I came in right at the end with house wolves and have been sporadic in my time to play. So I've got two consoles, at you know, one character on each console at least to get done. So I've got stuff to do. It's just time and energy and place. And I'm in a weird place where I actually have time to do that now. So this will be interesting. I hope to see you guys around more. One more time just for grins and giggles, let's go over what Zer has for us. He has a legacy heavy engram, heavy ex weapon exotic engram. Remember these legacy exotic engrams only give you year one exotics they do not count for year two or year three exotics however if you unlock a year one exotic that has a year two or year three equivalent and can be purchased from the uh, exotic weapon or exotic armor depending on what type of legacy exotic it is then that will allow you to get that year two or year three exotic that way now we do have the helm of inmost light for titans and that one you get Death from Above and Headstrong. We have the Young Ahamkara Spine, which is increased trip mine duration and an additional trip mine grenade charge. Light Beyond Nemesis for Hunter or for Warlocks. Supers generate an extra orb and revive can be revived faster, or the quick revive helm, as I like to call it. And then the Monte Carlo auto rifle for everyone. It will be a lot of fun. I hope everyone has a wonderful night, wonderful day. Goodness night. Where am I at? I guess it's night if you're across the pond. In any case, thanks again for stopping by. Hope you have a wonderful time. As always, if you'd like to find more of me and my community, you can look for me on YouTube where this will be posted. Or if you're watching this on YouTube, you can find me on Twitter, Periscope, and Twitch, all under the same username of Doug. Thanks again for stopping by. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. And... See you, Starside Guardians. Bye.